get an episode of My Summer Car. Um, today, I think, I need to get headlights. I can't pass, pass a safety inspection without headlights, and I need them. So we're going to go to town and get headlights. And then on the way there, I'm going to take this because this isn't mine, and I don't want to waste my fuel. Okay. And then, where's the ignition? It's, okay, where is it? You're, okay, you're here somewhere. Where are you? Where are you? I, I can't find it. It's it's here somewhere. I know. I, I'm going to enter the driving mode. I keep seeing it. Where's where it go? There it is. I see it. Okay. So, yeah, the glow plugs. I know. So, yeah, we need to pass an inspection. And I want to see if I can find that junk car I found that one time over by the race car track. At least that's the plan. And we're going to go try to do that today. So, <laughs> this is going to go poorly. I haven't even, uh, can't even find the ignition, so I don't know how this is going to go. We're going to take this little, uh, diesel van. And we're going to go down to the store and buy two headlights. And maybe get something to eat. And apparently I got to pee. So, there's that. And I'm a little tired. Is that not off all the way? Oh, there it is. There it is. <laughs> okay. Whoa, whoa. It's bur burning up the parking brake there. How are you guys doing? It's been a few days since I recorded. I've recorded a few episodes in advance because of my work schedule. So, I'm going to be a little off playing this. I can feel it. Oh, God. Oh, God. I don't have my seatbelt on. I don't have my seatbelt on. <laughs> okay, I don't have my... I don't have it on. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look. Seatbelt gods. I got it. No, I don't. Why can't... Why would you grab the seatbelt? Okay. Just, just put it on. Just, just... There we go. See? Distracted driving. Oh, this thing does not handle as well as my car. Oh, I should downshift, but who cares? Okay, it's not my transmission, nor is it my engine. Woo! That was a close one. That was a close one. The things you remember when you're about to die. <laughs> okay. Okay. We're making okay time. I don't know why we live so far from town. It's kind of annoying. I want to be closer. Oh, my heart's pounding. It's just thumping. Okay. Okay. And we gotta watch out for Dingle Nuts, whatever his name was. Ah, uh, Penis. Pina. Pina. Pena? Something like that. Michael Pena, is it? Either way, I have to be a little bit careful because this thing does not handle like my car, and this road is real freaking narrow. But yeah, on the way there, we're gonna stop at the dirt track because now I can't remember before my, if anybody's been watching this whole series, my game screwed up and I had to restart and get to the point where I was at. There, there it is. There it is. There it is. Okay. I see it. I see it right there. Did you see it on the ground? There's, look. There's stuff. This is all the stuff that fell out of my car. Let me out. Let me out. Penis better not show up while I'm doing this. Oh, no. Come on. Ugh. I'm going to watch out for that dude. If he comes roaring up here. Okay. There's that. If we see anything else, we'll grab it. Do we see anything else here? I don't see anything else. Maybe it fell out progressively on the road. What's this barn? Sometimes there's cars and barns I hear. So let's go. You know what? Let's go check that barn out. You can see through the door. Can I just bang it? Hang on a sec. Uh, uh. Nope. Nothing in here. <laughs> okay. We're committing. We're committing. Uh, we're committing damage. It's a crime. I'm pretty sure. Okay, so nothing's in that barn, so maybe I was wrong. Maybe there isn't anything in there. Okay, well now we're just gonna do donuts out here in the in the grass. All right, we got seatbelt on, so it doesn't matter. Look, I'm gonna look for parts on the side of the road. Because apparently stuff fell out of my car. Maybe I didn't close my trunk and it bounced out. But I remember I bought a battery and some stuff, and it was all back there, and now it's all gone. So I'm feeling like it fell out along the way, and I don't know where it all fell out. Because I, I drive kind of fast down these roads. Everybody says I drive slow. Oh, there's, there it is. Look. There it is. Oh, I think penis comes up this road, though. Oh, well. Let's see. It's parked the car. No. Handbrake, you fool. Seatbelt off. Get out. Get out. Get out. Thank you. Look. There's all my crap. This is where I had that accident. 
Oh my god, I'm so happy I found this. What, what's in here? I don't even remember. Let's, uh, let's open it up here. What do we got? We got brake fluid. Okay. I couldn't even remember. I knew there was stuff around here somewhere. Get in there. And my new battery. I knew I had this stuff. I thought I went crazy. The penis, you better not shut. They better not run out of time. The time I get to that shop, the amount of time I'm taking here. Okay. Let me in. Let me in. Ugh. I want my seat belt. I want my driving position. I want my seat belt. I want to take this door closed. It's not going to close. That's fine. I want to get off this road before a dude shows up. Okay. Well, the door stick. There we go. Okay, okay, come on, come on. See, I knew that stuff was around here. It all fell out when I got in an accident with him in that episode. When he dented my car. That guy's got to die. I'm sick and tired of his bullcrap. He makes me lose stuff everywhere. Oh, here's the, this is the dirt track, right? Boy, I'm getting so distracted today. All right, now if I remember correctly, it was down at the end of the dirt track here. Oh yeah, it's not here now. So maybe we're not going to get a junk car today. But it's definitely not here. Crap. So that junk car must have been in my first uh, playthrough there where I screwed the game got all screwed up. So that means the junk cars are elsewhere, and I'm not sure where they are. But I guess we'll... Uh, Try to find that out at some point. I'm not sure how to find them. I think it's just random. If it's not there again, it means it's a random occurrence, which means I got to stumble across them. And being I don't explore the countryside that much, it's going to be a while. So I'm going to have to get out and go for a drive. I should probably put gas in this thing too while I'm in town. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Just relax. Let's see if I can't find... Uh, those cars and so we can turn them into Fatari for cash money. Any traffic? I don't see any cross traffic. Okay, here we go. Now this thing used to get a, a wicked death wobble when he got up to speed. And it was real scary. Hey, we got somebody ahead of us here. Wait a minute! Is that him? Oh, ha, 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 ha. oh you fool! You fool! I see you! That's gotta be him, right? That's gotta be. No, it's not him. I was going to run him off the road. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Coming through. Rubbing sun is racing. Here you go. Okay, here we go. We're here. Okay. Hopefully nothing's closed yet. Still got all our crap, looks like it. Okay. See? This is how your day should go. You think you see the penis car, and then you... You, you buy you buy things that you bought before, but you don't have to pay for them now. I'm not sure what side the gas tank's on. I saw the fill. Okay, it's on the other side. You can see the filler pipe over there. And uh, ignition off. All right. So let me out. I'm gonna go. Let me out with oh, a seatbelt. This is why I don't wear them. Okay. <laughs> let me out. You should always wear your seatbelt, kids. All right. We're gonna go to the store. We're gonna buy headlights. Hopefully, it's still open. Oh, hello. We're running. Hey to the dishes in the dishwasher. Okay, okay, you're a little, uh, little rude. I gotta tell you. We could buy paint. What color do we want to paint? Oh, they're gonna paint it this color. I'm not sure. Do I need more than one? We'll buy two. Okay. Because I don't know. Oh, we're all out of the stuff still. Dude, shut up. I'm gonna buy some beers. I'm gonna buy, um. I'm gonna buy all this pizza too. While I'm, would you shut up, please? Okay, just quiet, Hugh. We got spark plugs, we got that. We don't have a seat cover. How much is that gonna cost me? 322 bucks. We're gonna get this. Just just for our car, just because we can. And I really should get a fire extinguisher. I, I really should. How much would that cost me? That's 491. That's not bad. You know what? That's not bad. I'm gonna take all this. I'm not sure what you are. Oh, here we go. A fire extinguisher holder. Oh, great. Now I got to walk it all to my car? Did you steal my seat cover? It better be in this bag. I don't see it anywhere. 
You know, I'm going to check in this bag real quick. Why can't I? I can't open the bag. Why can't I open? Oh, there we go. There's a headlight. There's a spray can. There's another spray can. There's another headlight. There's pizza. 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 This is getting a little strange. Pizza. Pizza. My seat cover. You stole it. <laughs> you stole it, you son of a gun. What's a seat cover? Here we go. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there it is. All right. Thanks. Sorry. I didn't mean to accuse you of things. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Let's get this off. We'll put some gas in this thing. There we go. Okay. See? Filling it up. This is the way things should be. Hopefully it doesn't cost more than 600 bucks. How did I spend more than that much money? Oh yeah, you're not getting a, you're not you know what you're not getting a full tank of gas. Not at these prices. <laughs> Get in there. This is just a little extra gas for the trip to pay back my uncle for using his van. There we go. See Jacob Bomberino? Look at that, Jacob Bomberino! I closed the gas cap! <laughs> I remembered. How much owe you? 56 bucks. Yeah, I'm going to have to start doing that lumber mission, I think, just to make some extra coin. So we're going to get home and put these headlights in. I think it's a good day. And besides, we're just about fatigued to death. We don't need that. Okay, let's see here. Cross traffic. Ah, we're good. All right, come on. Second gear pull. This is like starting off in the snow. Okay, <laughs> come on. But once I get the light bulbs installed, apparently I'm allowed to pick up the dude at, well, I guess I could use this thing, actually, come to think of it. But there's a dude that calls in the middle of the night, and he's all like, yo, I need you to come pick me up. I'm drunk. And apparently it does something if you do that. And you got to do it a whole bunch of times, and then he'll give you something or something like that. But I don't know. So we're going to have to figure that one out, too. There's so much figuring out in these games. Well, Fatara, you're not getting your junk car today. But we definitely got headlights, which is a good thing. Oh, there we go. My allergies are totally crazy again today. I don't know what's going on. It's like the pollen count went up. My nose is all runny. Okay, this is where Wienerhead comes down the way. So we got to be a little bit... Does he ever take a day off from driving like an idiot? See, like right here, you can't, you can't see over this hill. You don't know if he's there. Where are you? I will kill you. But I got my seatbelt on, so I'm safe. And it's not my van, so you can wreck it all you want. But I'm real tired. And if I'm tired and get in an accident, I'm going to get real cranky. And I don't need... If you run into me, you son of a bitch, where are you? Got to have a complex about this. It's just like sheer paranoia every time I come to a corner. I spent a lot... I spent 800 bucks today. It's the beer, man. It does it to you every time. <laughs> you can't have a good time without that beer. Okay, I've got to slow down. Remember, penis is out here. Where you at, penis? Can't trust that guy. God, I'm just about so tired I'm going to pass out. That'd be terrible behind the wheel of a car. Oh, I hear a train. I knew it. See, I knew you'd be coming through eventually, fool. I defeated you this time. This game doesn't have enemies, you know, so you got to make up your own. I'm so thirsty. Why do I get thirsty so fast? I got beer in the back, though, if I need it. Whoa! Stay on the road, fool! That's I don't need to be going off the road and hitting some trees right now. So I think I should go home and have a nap. Get up and install these headlights. This has been a good day so far. I like this. Because after that, I think we're pretty much ready for inspection. I don't think I need to repair the body for an inspection. I think we can get away without that, but I got I think I got everything else. So unless one of my parts fails. But I think the inspection's like $400 or something. Okay, we'll bring this in here like this. Park it with all my other cadre of cars. All right, I'll put this on and turn this off. All right. Perfect. Oh, seat belt off, please. All right, get out of here. This has been good. I haven't driven the car since I got the new tires on it, though. I really should do that. Now, I don't have a lot of energy left. I'll have a beer, though. If I can if I can get to the beer. Give me this beer. 
There we go. Okay. Because we're running a little low on beer. Perfect. All right. Thank you. Open this door up. We'll get the stuff inside. I'll get a little... Now that we're not so thirsty. Put this with our other beer. Okay. I don't know why we don't keep it in the fridge. Maybe it's some sort of uh, stout and we don't have to, but it doesn't look like one. Oh, look at the mess I've made. We got the new battery. That can go in as well. Maybe not right away, but we'll do that. We'll put this, this over here as well. Everything else can uh, stay there for now while I go get a drink and then uh, have a nap. And then we'll come back and we'll install all that stuff. I think it's ready. Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do this. Oh, there, it says kills you. It says it. I don't know if it's right, but we got some. I guess there's only one real way to tell is to drink it. I saw somebody do this on a video because I want to make sure I knew how to fill them <laughs> before I did it. Now we're gonna have way more than we have containers for, but apparently you can go to the dump and recollect the containers. Perfect. Okay, let's uh, pick one of these up and drink it. Let's see if this makes... Oh, yeah, we're getting a little bit drunk. Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, whoa. Perfect. Okay. Now, we don't have anything else to do with this, so we're just going to dump this out here. All right. Okay, I'm a little drunk. That's not bad. That's not bad. It's maybe not the best kills you, but it seems to get you a little drunk. Well, we're going to have a nap. Oh, wait a minute. I got to pee. <laughs> we got to pee a little bit. Okay, hang on. Oh, man. I am a little bit drunk. Holy jeez. This reminds me of my very first episode I ever played of this, like, two years ago. I got a bottle of uh, vodka from somebody, like, right off the bat. And I started trying to build the car while drunk off my gourd. It was pretty funny, actually. Oh, man. This is good. This is good. I'm not stressed. Little pee dribbles here. Come on. Who takes this long? Just stop. Already, you have peed so much in this house. My parents are going to think we got a cat by the time I got home. Get Stop this. I don't want to go pee on the floor anymore. There we go. Let's go get some sleep. Just after four in the morning, and I have no lights, and I can't see out here. I can always pull it into the garage, I guess. But I don't think we need to, to do a couple of things here. Okay, let's see. We're going to open this up. How do you do this? Oh, I saw it. Oh, yeah, look at this. Look at this business, man. That is some cool stuff. Oh, yeah, I know what else we can do. My van! My you st Someone took the van! <laughs> and all the stuff is just floating here. Come on. Right here. Oh, there it is. Oh, I painted it blue. Well, I painted part of it blue. Oh, this is good. I like this. Can I shake it? No, I can't. See, I like the blue. I like the blue. That's blue. This is going to be blue. You know, I should do a black hood, really. But we'll do that later. There we go. Why am I shaking like this? My guy's like violently shaking. What about the boot lid? Does it need to be painted? Oh, yes, it does. Well, being I just painted over the rust, I don't think it's going to be a very good paint job. But it looks better than it did. Look at this. It's blue. It's still got the big dent. Okay, so apparently my my um, my uncle came and took his van back or somebody stole it. Either way, this is, this is a problem. <laughs> it's gone missing and we no longer have it. Okay, so we got this and this. We got the seat cover on, which looks lovely because it matches the blue. Take this off here. Okay. Now, I got to pop out these headlights, which are those little bolts back there. And I think they are seven millimeter bolts. I don't know. So we're going to check. Now, it is a little dark out here, I know. And I don't like to work on things in the dark so you guys can actually see. But at some point, you just want to get things done. All right, let's see. Are those seven mil? Yes, they are. See, sometimes I remember for some reason. Where's the other? There is the other one. Why am I so shaky? What is going on? I don't understand why my dude is shaking like he's got, like, the hangover jitters or something. All right, we're taking the... Now we can get him out. There we are. All right. Aha! 
Stop jittering. <laughs> what is going on? Okay, so then we just need the light bul bul bulbs. What? Okay, Jesus. Where'd they go? <laughs> this is how this is, these things work for me. Light bulb and light bulb. Okay. I think these just go in here. Like this. And like that. All right. Okay. And then we just stick the light bulbs back in. Is that how this works? There's, there's a, oh, this is a specific side to the headlights. Put this in like this and we'll put the grill back on. We'll put, attach the grill and then we'll screw in the headlights, I guess. Okay. Okay. Come on. Oh my God. Just get in there. There we go. Okay. Two. And then we'll put this in. Okay. That's on. That's on. And then we need a uh, seven mil for the thing, right? Yeah. Okay. That's an eight. That's a seven. And now we'll go try the headlights out. Hopefully we don't blow something up. Because <laughs> why are you so jittery, you fool? Is it because you're hungry? You got a little blood pressure, a little blood sugar or something? What's going on? What happened? What, why is this not working now? Oh, they do work. Nice. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Now all we really got to do is replace that battery with the new battery and we should be good to rock and roll. Remember kids, good batteries is a smart battery. Okay. Okay. We're going to hook up the positive, right? And then the negative, that should be the way it goes without electrocuting anybody. Although that doesn't really matter on modern cars nearly as much. All right. We good. We good. We good. We good. All right. Close this up. Make sure she, she works. Open this up here. That works. All right. Close this. We'll fire her up and see if she works. Enter driving mode. Come on. Oh, yeah, the choke. Where's the choke? There it is. Okay, pull this out. Come on. There you go. Boy, this thing takes a while to start, eh? I think I need some new engine parts or something. How much gas do I got? About half a tank. Temperature's good. It is 6.30 a.m. Now, you know what, actually? I don't know if that dude will be around. But I think I know where the drunk guy lives. I think. And since I don't have my van anymore... I don't, uh, I don't have my van anymore because my uncle, I think, took it back. But we're going to take this, fill this up with these. We'll go see if he's awake at 6 in the morning. Oh, no. Oh, damn. I was hoping I could carry him with this. Don't get lost on the wall. I might need you. Okay. It's going to be a one-time thing. Here we go. All right. There we go. Now, I think he lives... Well, I don't know, honestly, but we're going to go take a look here. All right. Is this warmed up? All right, let's try it without the choke. It's probably going to backfire. I just know it. I feel it. I feel it in my bones. Oh, no, we're good. All right. And then we're going to go. Oh, no, she's backfiring. Not warm enough yet. So I think if we go down this way and we head to the end of the road, I think if we hang a left and then you go down towards Flatari's and then there's another turn, I think if we go straight through there, that's where this guy's house is. But I could be wrong, but we're gonna go find out. And as long as we watch out for that green car, we should be all right. And I doubt I'll be able to sell it to him this early in the morning, but I guess we'll find out. So my fear is at this point when I go for a safety is one of my parts is gonna be in such bad condition because they're not in good condition when you get them. And then I'm going to have to play the game enough to get enough money to replace those bad parts. But i got to get the inspection first, or I'm not going to know what parts are bad. So it's kind of a double-edged sword. So maybe I'll do that off-camera. Go get the initial inspection, and then see what I need to replace those parts, and then come back and do it again. Now, I think he's through here. 
Instead of stopping here, you go through here. And I think he might be over here. But maybe I'm wrong. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, maybe I'm wrong. All right, we have to look that one up, I think. Huh. Okay, come on. Downshift. Ah, well. We'll find it another day, I guess. You know what? Next time I'm in, I'll check the map before I come in, and I'll figure out where he is, because it's not going to go bad once it's in the bottles. Better downshift here. I don't want to lug it too much. Say so you burn out uh, rings. Destroy your valves. Yeah, these tires feel better. Maybe it's just a placebo effect. But I feel like they feel better. This road, this driveway's so long, though, eh? But yeah, I think, you know what? This is uh, this has been at least a, a constructive day. We got those lights in. So I think we're good for an inspection, unless anybody else thinks that's not true. But I'll go get the inspection done. I, like I said, I tuned the engine myself because I couldn't afford Flatari's prices. So hopefully... It sounds okay, and the smoke's the right color, but I couldn't tell you. So I'm going to have to uh, just kind of go on faith here. But a tune-up from Fatari isn't that bad. It's just I always have limited money because I'm too lazy to go out and deliver wood and stuff. So maybe what I need to do is spend some time off camera, go do the, the uh, kills you thing. Or actually, I want to do that on camera. But go do, um, deliver a couple loads of wood on Thursdays, I think it is, or Tuesdays. Get some extra cash ahead. And then we can go find the wrecks and make real money. Because our car's looking pretty bitching right now. It does need some body work, but, you know, that's fine. We can get that done eventually. And apparently there's a center console for this thing on a wrecked car, and I really want it. And why I don't have it already is beyond me. Where's that wrecked car? I want that console. That was a good day. Simple. We lost our van. Now we have a lawn full of pizza, but that's fine. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this, please leave a comment, maybe subscribe, maybe get your friends to subscribe. We're pushing almost, what, 650 subscribers now, guys? Like, seriously, thank you so much. And if you didn't like this, well, you should probably find yourself a real YouTuber because I'm not much of one. Thank you again so much for watching. Love every view I get. Scapegoat. My car looks like a blueberry. Out.